Hello everyone, welcome to Capture One in One Minute, where we explore one feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. And today we're gonna to talk about my single favorite tool inside of Capture One, none other than the Normalize tool. The Normalize tool is an incredible tool. It doesn't have a parallel uh, in many other places at all in photo editing, and it absolutely has an enormous place in my workflow. The idea is very simple. I can pick a particular tone or shade that I have edited in a photograph, click on something that should look the same in another photograph, and it will then normalize the white balance and the exposure. So here I have some sequence of images from inside of a, uh, a particular uh, van, and the color of the blues and the greens when certain lights are turned on should look the same, but of course they might be slightly different or the brightness might be different. We can normalize for that. For instance, let's grab an image here and let's say that I love the way this blue right here looks on this part of this space. Well, I can grab the selection tool here inside of Normalize. In fact, let's make it a floating tool. Now let's go ahead and grab it. That is the shade that we're going to have as our selection. I can now come down to another image, which should be the same, but it's slightly different. I'm going to normalize the white balance and the exposure, grab this, and I'm just going to click on what should be the same. And now I've normalized that particular color and the rest of the image follows suit. In this way, you can make sure that particular clothing looks the same in between a sequence of images. You can make sure that the color of one object, independent of lighting conditions, looks the same. And you can also make sure that the skin tone of a subject looks identical, whether that subject is indoors or outdoors. So let's go ahead and do an example of doing this with skin tone from uh, another shoot. So here we have some images and I've got my son playing at a park, but also I have some images, images of him inside of this slide where the color temperature and of course the skin tone got completely wrong. Now I could try to figure this out and try to figure out white balancing here, but there's a way easier way to do this. I'm just gonna come to an image where I think that his skin tone looks pretty good. I'm going to edit this to whatever way I want. I'm going to grab my color selection tool and grab some color, making sure I'm not grabbing the red in his cheek or, a sh or some shadow there. And then I'm going to come up to one of the images that needs some color work. I'm going to back off a little bit and I'm going to assume that this area should look pretty much the same. I'm going to switch my dropper tool to being the apply side of it and now I'm just going to click to what should be the same skin tone. It will then edit the entire image so that those two pictures have that patch of skin look the same in terms of both white balance and exposure, and it will adjust the entire image appropriately. I would then be able to do any kind of tweaking I wanted off of this image, and of course then copy those adjustments and apply them onto any other shot in that circumstance. So the Normalize tool is a big part of my workflow these days, and it allows me to create a selection of images that all feel appropriate sitting next to each other. All right, thanks for joining me today. I'll see you next time.